Did you know that you could equalize your SteelSeries Arctis headset? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how. Hey everyone, this is Orf from Wicked Cushions and today I'm going to show you how to equalize and adjust your SteelSeries Arctis headset. In order to equalize your headset, you will need to download the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. I linked it down below so you can go download it. For today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on three game genres that we all know and like and an equalizer for each of them. The first one is gonna be shooter games like Call of Duty or Battlefield. The second one is gonna be immersion games like Spider-Man or God of War. And the third one is gonna be a game where you don't really need sounds as much, but you really need to hear your team as good as possible, like League of Legends, Smite, or Dota, and stuff like that. Before I move on into the SteelSeries Engine 3 screen recording, you know that I have to address these beautiful, sexy beasts that are right here next to me. Have you seen how beautiful our Speed Racer Hybrid Velour ear pads are? How thick they are, how comfortable they are, my God, until you try this, you really don't know what comfort is. If you wanna give our upgraded gaming ear pads a try, they come in various designs and in regular colors as well as in various materials and with a 365 day warranty. We have a link at the top right corner right now or in the description below for you. Go check it out and let me know what you think. Now let's move on to the video. Okay, so as I mentioned in this video, you will need the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, which you can download from here, steelseries.com forward slash engine. I also linked it down below. So download it, install it, and come back. A few moments later. Once installed, you're going to connect whatever Arctis headset you have to Engine 3. So it depends on which one you have. For Arctis 5, as an example, you'll have to connect it via the USB. If you connect it with the 3.5, the Engine 3 will not recognize it. For in my example, with the Arctis 7P wireless that I have, all I need to do is connect the wireless transmitter and turn on the headset. So I'm gonna turn on the headset right now because you see it says reconnect headset. So as soon as it's on, it's gonna take about five seconds and then it's going to recognize it. Okay, as you can see, now it's connected. Now we're gonna click on here and we get to the EQ. So as I said in this video, I'm gonna be talking on three types of games. I already have a mind set up, so I'll start with probably the most popular, which is first-person shooter games, Call of Duty. So what you want to do for first-person shooter games is you want to enhance directional sounds like footsteps, shooting sounds, etc. and stuff like that. So when you adjust your EQ, you can copy mine, but if you want to adjust your own, the thing that controls footsteps and shooting sounds is going to be this column right here, these two. All right, so if you wanna adjust your own and get your own type of sound, what you wanna do is you wanna put a background video on YouTube, put the headset on you so you can hear what you're, let's say you can search on YouTube for Call of Duty footstep sounds. And well, there's a bunch of videos that will just have footstep sounds in them. You put on your headset, you listen to the footstep sounds. Make sure the live preview is on. You see right here at the bottom, live preview. Make sure that this is on. And as soon as you adjust any of the columns in here, in two or three seconds after, the, vo the sound will start changing in the video. So that way you can tweak it in a way where it's comfortable for you. For me, this way enhances steps and directional sounds in the best possible way for me. So that's for first person shooters. If you wanna copy mine, you can copy it. It's right here. Um, then I'm gonna move to immersion games. Uh, for me, it's called Spider-Man. Oh, by the way, before I move any further, when you set up the configuration, I'll show you how when you create a new one. Let's just do test. So after you set up the configuration, as you can see as a default, they're all on half. You can choose a pre-made uh, preset, for example, let's say performance. Then you're going to click save and you can rename it in here. When you click edit, you can rename it. All right, so I'm just gonna delete this one. Okay, now let's move on to what I call Spider-Man because these are my immersion games, games that are kind of epic. You don't really need directional sounds or stuff like that. You just wanna be immersed in the game. There is already a preset called Immersion. 
So all you got to do is just switch it to immersion. And then again, if you want to enhance it even further, you want to have it as your own type of sound, put a YouTube video in the background of a gameplay of the vi of the a gameplay of the game that you want to play. You can put a Spider-Man gameplay and then adjust it as you want and get the sound that you want, save it and then rename it. Now I'll move on to the last one, which is I call it League of Legends. That's games where you don't really care about the sound all you really care about is hearing your team so there is a preset called voice which basically numbs almost every other sound besides people's voices so you have a preset just go to voice and then save it rename it as you want again if you want to tweak it live preview go on youtube and tweak it as much as you want I would not touch dynamic range compression because it makes it much, much more difficult. And I'm not a big fan of this. I'm also, I don't understand it as much. So I would leave this as is. And also you can have different presets for your microphone. And that's it. That's pretty much all you need to know about the EQs. You can go play around, pick your games, pick your sounds. You can use some of the pre-made presets and let me know if that worked. And that is it for today's video, everyone. I really hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me by leaving a comment in the comment section below or reach out to us with the email that we have in the description. If you ended up liking this video and it was helpful for you, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every month. I will see you on the next one. Meanwhile, stay wicked, my friends.